Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to United Pirate Services UPS. We are shipping across the solar system in Interstellar Transport Company. And we've got a whole stack of ships coming in right now uh, to Mars. These are the one-way ships. A few of you have pointed out that I could probably make quite good money using the uh, two-way ships. That is true. One of the nice things about one-way ships is I don't have to kind of monitor the route too much. If I know there is demand, like there is now for stuff, I can just get it all shipped and blink a whole bunch of money's made. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. So looking here, I can see they need machinery, consumer goods, water, food, and they want colonists. And they are producing... So what if it's, uh, see, they're not, they're not making very much of anything. This planet actually has very little available. So I'm probably going to send them water, food, consumer goods and machinery on some kind of shipment, but I'm not going to bother doing too much more than that. I noticed here, I think one of the ships must have got bugged out. This is a ship on some kind of Mars route. It's just stuck forever orbiting the sun, as far as I can tell, not doing anything. Poor ship, Blue Company will be very sad. Checking down here, Europa, we're at 2.2 million people, so the place is definitely having a few colonists on it. Might be a pretty fantastic view at night, wouldn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, spaceport's been upgraded, which is fine. I don't think I want to buy into it too much just yet. Again, water, food, consumer goods and machinery are the common things here. However, dilithium crystals are actually on this surface here, on this planetoid. So do I want to produce a dilithium crystal mine? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know because we got quite a bit of money now. The thing is that I'm more inclined to build a really big ship uh, for the Mars run. A dilithium crystal mine, I think I'm going to come to it. Look, you need a refinery as well. <sighs> wow. There's something, something, something. One dilithium crystal and eight water to create. It's not going to do well with water. We need a water bearing world for that, but there's none on Mars I've checked. They do, however, have a great deal of demand again for the for the standards. So do I have an Earth Mars Direct? I do. And I just want to check what ship well what ships have we got running on what routes? So Lunar Transit, Lunar Transit, Lunar Transit, Lunar Transit, Lunar Supply. So Lunar Supply is our water transit transporters. They're making an absolute metric ton of profit. Earth Mars Direct, what are you doing exactly? Where are you? I don't... I actually am going to just sell you. I want a bigger ship and I want to reconsider this Earth Mars Direct route. So we could purchase a new ship. I don't mind being a little bit inefficient at this point. I'm doing pretty well. So that thing is massive. Like, yeah, it's truly massive. What could we take over? We could take over food. Uh, is that consumer goods as well in there? Uh, consumer goods and food. And rare, yeah, I think I want a lot of that because I can bring rare resources back, what there are of them. I can take water. And you know what? I might take five. Uh, maybe I'll take five less water. Five business class. It's weird how it deletes the thing, isn't it? Uh, I feel like a few less and a few less of business and a few more of these guys. Something like that. I'm hoping that will just be good. So Earth Mars Direct. I'm going to fiddle with that route. I think that should be enough, hopefully, to make a profit. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe diversified shipping. So I've got a few things on that one will do the trick. Actually, Earth Mars Direct, I'm going to delete that route. Earth Mars Direct. So Earth, are there any requirements? I don't think so. I'm just going to leave it up to the uh, AI to handle that. I think the AI will know what to do with picking people up. Yeah, I think it's OK here. I, I, I get worried about them coming back empty when they're not trying hard enough, if that makes sense. I mean, that is a bit of a concern. So on order and you're in maintenance. That's fine. One of the things I should check is that we have, whoa, well, their ship is that we have enough facilities to do maintenance. Supply of these things is massive. A machinery factory only makes sense if it's got raw materials, but we're short of raw materials here. A maintenance hangar, 
I'm going to do that. And... Oh, we've got a large office here. I'm going to upgrade this. Do I want to upgrade it? No, I think that's fine. I think that's one. It does stack, I believe. Now, here I've actually gone ahead and helped do the upgrade for the large resource mine. We don't actually own it when we when we do that. It just becomes a facility uh, upgrade office. I what? It won't, won't allow us to upgrade the office. Come on. Oh, that's cheeky. So I don't know if that facility... Uh, where's ours? Um... Loading, unloading. Yeah, let... Uh, what? Reputation too low? What a shame. So I, I don't know if it gives you, like, a bonus to anything. I've asked the developers. Hope to hear from them in the next day or so. I'm assuming it's generally a good thing to help build on a planet, but I'm not sure exactly. So I just want to check. Spaceport size is four. Uh, did we not... Let me just check. Um, purchase new ship. So these massive ones need spaceport size. Oh, three. Oh, that's fine. Good. We haven't got any truly en enormous ships yet that we can worry about. Nope, that's fine. So on order, launch when ready. Yes, good. I think I'm going to keep an eye out for that one producing. Now, what do we have here at Europa? It has got spaceport size five already. Wow. Okay, again, I'm going to order another one of those ships. Uh, do I want to have a bit more machinery focus to it? Water, food, consumer goods. That's one bucket. Did I? What did I do? I'm going to order a ship for that route. Going to be another big beast. And it's going to be uh, food and consumer goods. And water. And it's going to be machinery. And I think we're going to add in some shipping here. And it's going to be on Earth Europa Direct to launch immediately. A famine on Mars. Ah, oh, see, I don't know how much we should care about some. I think we probably should care. Like, I don't think we want to sort of help make a famine. I'd feel bad if the famine got too extreme. Hmm. I mean, we are going to be delivering a ship there. 2,000 refugees already waiting. They are well short on food. Not enough food in the place. They're subsidizing machinery, which is a bit of a shame, because they actually need something a bit better than that. Let's hurry up. Come on, guys. Get launching. So our Mars ship is coming in. Let's see what kind of money it makes. 7,000. That's not too bad to help develop this colony. And there are no more refugees. There was a large pile of them, but now there are none. And it looks like our ship is there possibly waiting. No, it's going back. Let's just pause for a sec. What's it got on it? It has basically nothing. One person returning home? Yeah, there's one first class passenger. Obviously the governor's going home for a holiday. I don't think that will necessarily make up for the cost, but that's fine. Meanwhile, the Europa variety ship is heading on its way to Europa full again of food, machinery. No machinery? It can take machinery, but it is it just not good enough to buy. It's possible that Earth is a bit low on machinery due to lack of rare resources, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see how it does. And then we're going to check the new ship that is available. I like how it kind of was curving out and now it's curving back in again because uh, of the orbit of Europa, I guess. I'm not sure. How are we looking? I want to I watch this a little closely just to see it does make sense. Falling into the gravity well here. 7,000. That's not too extreme. It's going to take a few runs to make profit because that's an expensive ship. But that's not the end of the world. I suspect again that it won't necessarily be clear that it's made any money. Let's have a look for quite a while. And again, not taking anything home. That's kind of to be expected. I'm hoping I can still make money with that. There is no one on any of these other ones, but I notice that Ganymede has pop, uh, sorry, the habitability 37%, which is certainly more than Europa. Uh, dilithium crystals, none on there. None on... Well, I don't know. Water availability, availability 28%, 17%. 42% there, and this is where the dilithium crystals are as well. N none over there, so I guess that is why Europa has become so popular as a destination for it. Do we want a dilithium crystal mine? It does seem quite a lot to worry about at present, but let's check out this new ship. 
So there is some... Whoa! What? A Gorman data, 36,000. System speed is... Let's check it to the big guy, 3.25. Compared to 137. I can guess I can see why. Fuel usage empty, 21. Uh, let me have a look. Full, 23. Turnaround days, 2 versus 10. And reliability, this is a touch more reliable and it's fast. Do we want to purchase some of these? I think we do. What I want this one for is I'm going to give it uh, 10 units of food and water, mm, a unit of machinery and, well, food that is, and uh, maybe that. Put it on Earth Europa Direct. And I'm going to order one for Earth Mars Supply as well. Are they going to be cheap enough? I think they're going to be okay. I'm going to just rename this one. Uh, what are we going to call it? Yes, it did come through Data Europa. And uh, yes, fine, fine, fine. And this one is going to be Data, Data Mars. I mean, that could make quite a cheap run. I mean, if it can do the run fast and cheap, then it's going to make us a lot more money than these big slow boats. I noticed here the ship broke down and this guy has caught up with it and I think he's fixing it. I can't click on him, but I'm assuming it's some kind of repair vessel. Is there another one broken down out here as well? Data Europa is moving very quick compared to, look, it's actually overtaking everyone else. And over here, Mars Variety is going out. Am I going to see someone else come through? Europa Variety, are you actually moving? You are, you're just very slow. And then Data Mars, wow, you are moving like nobody's business and you have a reasonable amount of everything full by the looks. I'm just hoping that's the kind of stuff that will actually make us profit. A little bit, that's fine, a little bit adds up over time. And out here, Data Europa is overtaking everyone. It is going to be time, I think, fairly soon, if we make a bit of money to put down a Dilithium Mine. I wonder if that'll kickstart space race. I am not too sure. Or the interstellar race, I suppose you could say. Look, we're very close to Mars right now due to orbital periods and all that fun stuff that you learn about in Kerbal Space Program, or if you're you know, sensible in the real world. So what are we taking back? Nothing but passengers? Still made $350. That's not too extreme. Oh, colonies have been subsidized. Did it say on Mars? Let me have a look. Ended. Okay, so the data's are in. That's fine. Data? I like the data. That is doing very well. What is it saying? Famine on Mars, famine on Mars. Okay. I'm tempted to buy more of these data Europas. Duplicate ship and data Mars. Duplicate ship. Yeah, we're going to order those and get those up and running. So I have found a location here. Titan has the lithium crystal availability 98%. I could subsidize a colony and I think, you know what, I'm going to do it. We're going to subsidize a colony here. We've dropped 150,000 people on it. We need everything at this place. So rare resource availability. That's pretty good. I am t I'm tempted to upgrade a spaceport and upgrade it once more. Oh, this is going to be expensive. Uh, I need to buy an office. Wow, we like we like to be expensive here. Eighty-eight thousand a month. Oh, okay, so that's fine. We we now have a Titan colony. It's ours, large, largely. Um, company reputation, ninety-five percent. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? So I think what I want to do is give. A, I'm going to put out a Data Europa. So these are slowly actually making money. It doesn't really suggest it, but that, that number's been going down or slightly increasing. So Data Europa, oh sorry, Europa Variety, this guy. We're going to order a duplicate ship and uh, we're going to change, ooh, we're going to create a new route. I'm going to call it um, Titan Victory 1. And we're going to have several of this class of ship, I suspect. So the Titan Victory 1 is going to need a route, and it's going to go from um, at a stop. Or where are you, Earth? Somewhere in the middle. No, that's not you. Earth, add stop to Titan. There we go. So Titan Earth Direct, and the ship that we have ordered, that apparently we can't spell properly, 
is going to be on uh, Earth Titan Direct. And this is going to be a money sink for us. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get access to Dilithium Crystals first because we are the ones who paid for the Blimmin Colony. No promises though. Can we subsidize the Dilithium Crystal Mine? We cannot afford anything. So no is the answer. We're the only persons actually shipping to this colony as well. So these poor, poor people, all 150,000 of them, don't really have any choice. They're going to get us dumping people on them and, and just uh, supplying them. So hopefully I might order, hmm, I might order a couple of these as well. And I'm going to put them on the Titan Direct 2. Uh, come on. So Earth Mars, so ship 223, put you on Titan Direct. Titan Direct, Titan Direct. So Titan Victory. Yeah, we're going to rename these ships and get them all up and running. So I've actually noticed something kind of interesting, and that is that Earth uh, doesn't have any machinery lying around. Machinery is being produced, but it is being spat out as fast as it possibly can, which is a little bit of a problem uh, because, well, I think the problem is there's no rare resources. So rare resources, there's very little compared to demand. Whereas if I look at m the, the moon, um, there is a machinery glut, but look how much machinery is waiting. I don't quite... well, they have a supply. They're making it, I think, because I put a factory on there. I know I helped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can add a stop. Um, and I'm going to... Okay, can we just delete that one? Uh, Earth, Luna, so this is Europa, add stop out to, uh, I think this was the Europa one. So let's add a stop out to Europa and, uh, and then hopefully they'll pick up machinery along the way. I don't know. Um, Earth, Luna, Europa, fine. And Earth, Mars seems profitable. Earth, Titan. Uh, we're going to remove that stop, add a stop. I just kind of want to see what they do. I'm not sure they will do the smart thing. They might travel half full and half unfull and all kinds of stuff. I expect that, well, I don't know quite what to expect, but that's part of the fun. We're going to see what happens. So Earth Titan, Earth Luna Titan, let's see what that does. So this is lying to me. This number is actually going down. There were a bunch of ships that weren't making any money. This year's profit, I don't know, it's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm hoping this Lunar Link will be the thing that keeps profits up. But I can't promise anything. So one thing I am conscious of is, wow, look, look at the size of the spaceport. 280 or whatever it was, that was fine. Do we want to pay for anything else here? Small office, we want to upgrade the, oh, what? My reputation is too low. That is appalling. What if we upgraded 45,000? No, hang on, this isn't. What? Titan? That's not Titan. I think it's confusing us. Okay, so let's keep an eye out for ships coming back and look for one that is doing what we want it to do, which is to uh, ship onwards to Europa. And it's going to be one of these new guys, I suspect. Oh no, the mass ships are fine. So is it one of... what's it going to take with it? If it's one of our ships here, is it going to head out? I can see the lines, the route lines coming out. Water delivered to Europa. Well, that's going to help us. Famine on Mars. Well, that's okay. We do have shipments going out. We can only do so much. And I'm pretty keen on setting up that dilithium mine soon. So I want to see a ship head out. Okay, so I've found a Titan Victory ship. It has got... It's dumped all its food and water on uh, the moon. Picked up machinery and passengers and is heading out. Do we actually have people wanting to leave? Oh, we do have a few people. Origin Earth, Destination Titan. Origin Lunar, Destination Earth. And I don't know quite... Destination Ganymede, Destination Mercury. Do we have a colony set up on Mercury already. So Titan Victory 2. So 2 and 3. Again, passengers and machinery. Oh, it's actually kept some of its food. That's interesting. Oh, and I can see five uh, rare goods in there. I'm just trying to remember these ones. Rare resources. Interesting. Because we've got a glut of machinery, perhaps. So that route is actually doing okay. And we have the Europas coming back. I want to see what they do. So the Titans 
I'm pretty happy with those. I think that will make them even more profitable. Oh, out goes the repair ship. Rescue some poor lost, lost soul. Here we go. That's the data Europa. And he is going out again. Machinery, food, and rare resources. I like this. I think that was a good change. I feel quite pleased with that. Do we have any more new and exciting ships? Not yet. And everything is basically making profit. Even this uh, very unprofitable ship here, I think, is slowly starting to pick up money. Look at the money these guys have made. Our real workhorses. I wouldn't want to put out more than they have right now. I think we would kind of saturate the market. Uh, that would be problematic. Okay, so let's have a look at Wonderful Mercury. No dilithium crystals there. An intense demand for machinery, but a reasonable amount of... See, like I could subsidize a machinery factory here. Probably don't have the reputation for it. So like our reputation there is zero. On Titan, however... Oh, where are we? Titan, Titan, here we go. So on Titan, I think we could definitely have a bit of a look as this ship comes in. Company favorability, 97%. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And I want to put a mine, a dilithium crystal mine on here. Beautiful, that is going to be good. And I'm assuming we're making money. Are we, are we, are we? 11,000? That went very well. We, oh, we have a little bit of food hanging around. I'm actually surprised we have water hanging around. There is water availability on these planets. So I don't quite know if you have to do anything special or if they have to get to a certain size. We don't have enough reputation to buy up both docks. Dilithium crystals. Okay, that's good. Local government, local government. Do we, or can we put anything else useful here? Um, hmm, I do want to get a fuel refinery at some point, but I think for now we want to let these ships run and just see how they're doing. So Earthlina Titan, they're actually making good money. I'm going to order a duplicate of these ships and I'm going to order another duplicate because I want to see a Titan really grow. I want to see it do very well. Don't want to get too low in money in case something happens, but we do want to see excellence here. And this guy getting, what is wrong with you? Are you running out of repairness? Or have you broken down? Oh, you might have broken down totally. Oh dear, I need to check Earth. Do you have any availability for more maintenance? Um, one docked ship. And I'm going to upgrade it. Am I? No, I'm not going to upgrade it. I think that's okay. We'll put possibly one on Titan as well, because I think right now... Um, oh, okay, so that's our ships list. That's our routes list. Okay, that's fine. Waiting for repair ship. It is. That is cool. Good job, me. So we now have two broken down ships. I've built another maintenance shed here. And I also want to put in security services. But again, it's a bit expensive. I've just seen that a, uh, another ship somewhere has been attacked. But as you can see, two broken down ships. There's some people just hanging around on there. Why does it have machinery on it? I guess it's coming to Titan. And that one was leaving Titan and has broken down. So we need those maintenance ships to go out and do some repairs, which is a bit of a shame. They'll be expensive ships to get repaired, I suspect. But we can't do too much about that right now, so we just have to be patient. Meanwhile, let's see what happens here. How are these guys going? 5,000 and waiting to land. Oh, we need, do we need to upgrade this spaceport for 45,000? And we'll buy it. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. There we go. 5,000, 5,000. And off they go. How are your repair status? This repair status is fine. Slowly clocking up to 1%. I think we've been so unlucky as far as I can tell. Just on those broken down ships. This repair status is still climbing at 8%. 16%. No wonder you're a bit broken. Meanwhile, Titan is producing... Refugees. Wow, that is a shame. Um, and what can we do about that? More food and water. Population is over a million. And what is this machinery? It's saying how much machinery installed are the maximum needed for 100% development? 43 of 6,000. Ah. So, okay, we need more machinery out here too. I can see we're slowly accumulating dilithium crystals. We don't have a, fa a fuel factory yet. I'm sort of inclined to build or to buy a really big ship and use it for shipping. Uh, so the space bus, use it for shipping a ton 
of food and water. Something like this. And then taking a bit of seating like I don't know maybe a few more a few less of these and a few more of these yeah I think we will I want to get that earth lunar titan launch immediately I want one of those and I think I want to send one to Europa as well oh oh gosh it's too expensive oh tiny pirate that's a bit risky that's a little bit risky. Okay, that's fine. I don't like running so low on money. Titan uh, Airlines. That makes no sense. Titan Space Lines. There we go. Earth Lunar Titan. I'm hoping it takes out enough food to feed everyone and we drop these refugees because 53,000 of 900, the population's really dropping. And we have food there. What are we sure? I think water's the massive problem. What are you bringing out? You know what? Can we take one of these and change its route to Earth Lunar Titan? And this dry goods ship, uh, I think I'm going to make it Earth Lunar Titan as well. Once it's fixed. Oh, it's a bit of a gamble. Let's see if it pays off. So I have just realized that we've made a little bit of a mistake, and that is we've left the Earth Lunar Titan route in when I've redirected and bought these ships. End result is a lot of the ships have dropped off their food and water, like these guys here. They've dropped off their food and water and just they're bringing machinery and people. So unless the people want to eat robots, then we're in serious trouble if, if this thing goes anywhere. So right now, 450,000 people are there. 760,000 people are leaving. I think we're going to have a colony failure. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm very worried about it. Unless we get some water out there. So, you know what? I'm just going to purchase some new ships. They're going to be these one... Oh, are they going to be these? These are fast. Um, and could we do something? Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Do I want to do that? They... You know, no, actually what I want to do is I want to purchase the one-way ships because I don't want to put much on them except for water. And I'm just going to go Earth Titan Direct, launch immediately. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I might switch around a little bit and put one with some food on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, cool. Now that is a lot of money to spend, but I'm really worried about the colony failure. So they're all just going to come out as a massive swarm. These guys are just going to continue to drop. Oh, this one's actually bringing food. Oh, that's nice. This one's bringing machinery, not food. Machinery and rare resources. I'm sure they'll really appreciate trying to eat them. They've got so much now, they're actually starting to get a bit of a deficit. The population is still failing. The lithium crystals are building up. Rare resources are actually in quite a bit of supply. So if we wanted to... So what have you got? Ah, oh, no food. Just food. No water. Kind of an oversight on our behalf. And the reason is, no one else has bothered to put down a spaceport here. So we were the ones keeping this colony going. I really like that idea. That's kind of cool. I think that's just... That's kind of neat. I mean, this is our responsibility. We need to keep an eye on it. That's, that's quite nice. Well, it looks like the bad news is that the population all died on Titan before we got anything there. So they don't have any demands of anything. They've got a pile of food, no water and zero people, which is depressing. So, so here comes our first or our next colony ship. It's got a whole bunch of people on it and they're going to be walking literally. Oh, there's been a pirate attack. They're going to be walking literally over the bodies of a million, uh, a million dead people just littering i don't know littering the streets eating each other i mean it's kind of horrible if you think about it i mean imagine if you did launch a colony ship somewhere and it took months to get there and by the time you got there the entire place was just full of corpses which we're gonna start seeing again pretty soon at this rate now we have actually had a pirate attack famine uh, warded off by the crew of ship 301 oh that'll be one of our big massive ships coming out and we're just continuing to dump people on this world. Oh my gosh. I feel kind of terrible. Like, what do we got here now? There's 500,000 people and a thousand of them are already trying to leave because there's no water. 
which we need to fix. So, hey, Mr. Tiny Parrot, you've you've messed things up a little bit here. Hip flask is coming with nothing on it. What, you haven't even got any water. You shipped it all to the moon, and then you just turned up here. What about these guys? These guys have all our food and water. Titan Space Lines dropped off a, a bunch of people and has now fled. So, oh, that's kind of frustrating. So our one-way ships have actually... Oh, come here. Come here, Europa. Our Titan. Our one-way ships have made it and we now have 730,000 people there. Water and food are somewhat solved. Colonists are still demanded. Machinery is still demanded. So I'm confident that these people won't leave. Look, we have a bunch of food and water waiting. Uh, what have we got? Population is doing fine. Colonists are in demand. So actually what I want to keep an eye on is Titan Space Lines. Where are you? Uh, center camera. You're on Earth Titan Direct, which is what I want. Okay, so you are traveling. Uh, if I can zoom back. You're moving your way to the center of again. Nope, unpause. Yeah, so you are very slowly coming back to Earth. That's fine. Whereas we have everything here going out again. So they're, they're taking a ton of machinery, but not much else. Which I find a little distressing. But I can't do much about it. It seems like machinery is still massively in demand. So, yeah, I can see, look, there's a bunch there. But the machinery level is still a long way to go. So, I mean, that is good. And we have the direct ship, which is most important. Just thought I'd take a final look around the solar system before we finish. So as you can see here, Callisto has been populated, Ganymede has been populated, and Europa remains a very popular and busy location. Oh my goodness, be what? That is a that is a ton of people trying to leave, and there's nothing we're really doing about that right now, except we're taking them more machinery, which seems like a shame. But that I don't know. Do we want to set up a water route, a water route, and a food route? to each of these places would seem sensible because, I don't know, without us, it's almost like they're just failing. Oh, not enough blimmin' reputation. What? It seems like they're failing to upgrade office. No, they're failing to produce the uh, resources or to ship the resources out there from Earth. So we kind of just need an Earth place direct uh, route, not worrying about Titan or Luna after all. It's probably expensive, but with those new cheaper ships, those cheap fast ships, it's probably, if we can get enough of them going, probably profitable in the end. So I'm going to give that a go, set that up off camera, and then see what it does for us, hopefully, quite a bit. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching Titans rise, fall, and then rise Phoenix like from the ashes, then let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more fun, friend, fantastic, I hate that word, more fantastic fun here with Tiny Pirate. Until next time, good night.